There are 12 hunter masks that you can find and equip in the Division 2. Now there are clues to them and you gotta use a cipher to get to them, but I'm just gonna show you the locations, how to spawn the hunters that you need to kill in order to acquire their mask. They are very difficult enemies. You're not gonna be able to do this until after you get to the end game. It would be very tough. You can do it prior to that, but it'd be very tough. Now cool thing is if you go down to the base of operations into the basement, there's actually a wall that will display all the hunter masks that you have acquired. So let's go to East Mall. I'm gonna show you the first four because you get those all at the same place. Now we're gonna get the Phantom, the Death, Diamond, and Cross masks. Now we're at the very top of the East Mall in the center. And what we need to do in order to get the hunters to spawn for us to kill and take their masks, we have to go into the pavilion over here into this little coffee shop. There's gonna be a lever that you need to pull. So we're gonna go ahead and pull that, and then we're gonna go to the Christmas tree in the center of this area and stand by it, and that'll spawn four hunters that you need to kill. They're gonna all try to attack you at the same time. It's very difficult. Now, I do wanna give some props to Dad Rage on Reddit and everyone else that's found a few of them that I didn't personally find. I'd been searching for these for a long time. So uh, props to Dad Rage who went out and got some of the ones that I couldn't find. So standing by that tree, Hunters will spawn. You'll die probably over and over again, but you can keep coming back because the hunters will still be there. You can take them out one at a time, die, and go back and get them. Highly recommend, if you're doing this solo, to use the demolitionist list and use the grenade launcher, uh, preferably a fully upgraded one, and to kill the hunters. It's much easier that way. So that was a phantom mask. I'm going to go and kill a second one here. As I'm killing them, I'm myself, I'm going to die. It's Again, a little challenging if you're playing solo. Again, you're not going to really be able to do this until after you get to the end game. So I killed them. Thankfully, the reward is still on the playing field. And there's another kill there. Let's go ahead and pick that up. That is the death mask. And let's go and get this other one here. This is the, uh, I believe, the diamond mask. Still one more to go. Now, sometimes they'll wander away from the area they spawn. They'll actually go and attack anything they find. They're very tough. They're very much like players. Uh, their movement style, the way they attack, and they will often kind of go away from the area that you spawn, and that was the case there. Still close by. They don't travel too far. Now, heading over to downtown east, we're going to get the demon mask, and things are going to get a little easier because you don't have to take out four of them at, a, at the same time. So at the downtown east uh, area here, we're in that building, we're gonna enter it, go down the stairs, and then we're gonna kinda go to the center courtyard area of this building. Now on the windows up above in front of me, uh, there are four windows that have targets on them. What you need to do is shoot those targets from the top down. So if you got a rifle, makes it a little bit easier. So you see, there's one way up there. There's a second one. There's a third one. And then there's the fourth one. That'll spawn in the hunter. And they always pop in, kind of like magicians and with a poof of smoke. Uh, again, they're very challenging. So I highly recommend, if you're especially if you're solo, just to use your grenade launcher. It'll take a couple grenades. Maybe one if you get a direct hit on them. And depending on what your modifiers are to explosive damage. So that one's down. Let's go ahead and pick up that demon mask. Now we're gonna go after the wraith mask. This is in the southwest area. This is actually the bottom right corner of the map pretty much. Now there's a memorial here, and this is a little tricky. What you need to do is approach this memorial here and then salute it. Now I end up saluting it about seven or eight times before the guy actually pops in. I'm gonna kinda in just a moment uh, speed up the video, but go ahead and use your salute emote. You press and hold down on the D-pad and then press up with the right stick and select it. So I'm just gonna do this over and over and over again. Now, if it doesn't spawn after doing it seven or eight times, maybe your position is a little off. I can't tell you the exact position. I am showing you exactly how I did it, however. So that didn't quite work, so I'm just gonna move forward just a little bit here and do it one more time. Just keep butting with it, you will eventually get it. And there he is, of course, I wasn't prepared. I didn't know he was gonna pop up right in front of me. So 
Uh, this battle wait raged on for about 20 minutes. I had to go and acquire grenade signature ammo. Came back, it was nighttime. This is actually about a block and a half away. Not hard to find him though, because he's out raging war against everything. All right, so now we're gonna head over to the West Potomac Park and we're gonna get the ghoul mask. This is kind of takes place in two separate locations. Starting here, there's an underground tunnel at that location that we can go into. There's three in this area. This is the bottommost one. So we are gonna crawl down into the sewers here. We are gonna head north once we get down. It'll be to my right or to my left as the game turns my character around. So make sure you're heading north to this tunnel and we're gonna reach a little area and we're gonna find some stairs on the right hand side. We're gonna go up those stairs and we're gonna interact with a laptop. Now there's a bunch of other loot in here. So make sure you're scouring this area, checking everything out. But we're gonna interact with this and it's gonna highlight a spot on the map. It's actually in the reflection pool. And you see there's a little moon above the, I, the, uh, the X. That means we have to come here at nighttime. So I am here in the daytime. But as you can see, it's a beautiful view between the Lincoln Memorial and the Washington Monument. But you see this little shack here, there's a light bulb that's hanging down from it. If you come here at nighttime after you've interacted with that laptop, that light will blink. Shooting that light will spawn in the hunter. And we're gonna get the ghoul mask if we successfully take him out. Thankfully, by this point, I was well prepared with my grenade launcher, so it didn't take me long to take him down. But once you've taken him down, make sure you loot that ghoul mask. And let's head over downtown east. This is our next area. We're going to get the crimson mask at this location. Uh, this is kind of a little a thing where you got to run from one point to another point pretty quickly. So in this area, we're going to go from the center courtyard area. We're going to go inside the building on the south end. And we're gonna interact with this device here on the counter, this radio. Soon as you interact with that, we're gonna sprint across to the opposite side. There's gonna be a desk and there's going to be a phone on the corner of that desk. You need to go and pick it up, Nearby interact with it. Uh, you gotta be pretty quick in from that previous spot to this location here. You interact with it and then in the center, the hunter is gonna spawn. Don't do what I do and that is blow yourself up. So came back after a respawn took out the hunter and grabbed his mask. Now number nine and 10 are both at the same exact spot. Now you can see this location here on the map. We're on the west end. This is near where one of the missions were started. We are actually going to cl climb in through a fence to a pool. Now this is another one that you need to do at nighttime. As you can see, it's currently daytime, but I'm gonna show you the location first. We're going to climb into this area and there's a pool. I'm going to go stand in this water right over here and wait until nighttime. All right, so it is now nighttime. What do you got to do? Well, you got to do some calisthenics. We're going to do some jumping jacks. Doing jumping jacks is going to get them to spawn. If they don't spawn, you may have a side mission triggered nearby. So you're going to have to do that first in case uh, you're wondering why they don't spawn. Or maybe your location within the pool is currently... Uh, is not in the right spot so two hunters will spawn here take them both out and there was definitely a respawn in there for me so again if you can't uh, get them to spawn make sure you don't have another mission kind of attached to you due to the proximity of this pool there's the midas mask and then the revenant mask is the second one in this location the final two masks are gonna be centralized around the Washington Monument. We're gonna be basically be playing a gigantic game of cat and mouse, and it's a very tough game for us, unfortunately. Now, the first step is to go into the bottom of the Washington Monument, interact with this council here after 7 p.m. Everything here takes place at nighttime. Now, on the screen, there's three dots. Those are locations of graves. So the first grave site is gonna be a uh, far north west of the monument at that location there on the map find the grave and then issue an emote uh saluting so do a salute emote and then we're going to go do the other two grave sites the next one is going to be just a little east a little north east of the monument it's going to be right here on the map find this location it's dark so it's a little tough to find but you'll find it issue the salute emote 
And then we're going to go to the third one here in just a second. And it's very close to the monument, just a little southwest uh, of it. After you've done that, we are going to return back to the monument, the basement area, and interact with that council once again. Press the button, and there's going to be a orange oval that will appear on the screen. That means you've initiated it and everything's good. So we're going to have to find the two hunters. They both have a starting location. If you don't kill them in a single shot, chances are they're going to just run away and disappear. And if they disappear, they will appear at a random location. And those random locations, I'll show you a bunch of them, but I don't think I know all of them. So you want to try to kill them in uh, this first time you encounter them. Now, the fir first... Hunter is going to be at this location on the map. I'm going to go inside of this area and he's going to be up on top of a container. He's going to be looking outwards a different direction. So he's not going to see me. So I can take my time to aim my shot. Now I have the signature grenade launcher and I have all the damage maxed out. I got a lot of explosive uh, perks and benefits to my gear to make sure I one hit kill him. And there it is. So that was the ghost mask. Now the second hunter will primarily spawn initially right on this little shack just north of my current location here on the map. Right there is where he normally spawns. It's really easy to not get this guy in a one hit kill, especially with the grenade launcher. And if he does kind of try to flee, he'll drop down the left side of the building. If you're prepared, you can kill him. But again, you only have a few seconds. So I'm actually gonna kill him over on in the Washington Monument here. I missed my shot. I ran around for about 10 minutes and I was able to find him. And he's going to be right up alongside here, up high. And I'm trying to get in a spot where he's not going to see me, but he sees me. As soon as I aim at him, he starts running away. That's how difficult this is. And then after a few seconds, he'll just poof and disappear. But I was lucky and got the shot off. And he dropped my Spectre mask, so I'm going to pick that up. That is my final mask. Now I'm going to show you some alternate locations. Uh, on the monument itself, where I just got the kill, is one of the alternate locations. And then I'll show you some other ones. Now, if you don't get the primary spot, say you go to that first location, and you go to that little shack for the second hunter, and you don't get the kill right there, and you just can't find them, what I recommend you do, as soon as it turns daylight, just log out of the game. Just hit the, the options button, hit the hold the triangle button to log out and then log back in. That'll kind of put you into a new server. And then when you get to nighttime again, they should appear in those two spots. Maybe not as soon as night starts, but shortly thereafter, they will usually appear. If there are enemies around, sometimes they won't spawn as well. Here is a second alternate location. It's on top of this white building right here. If you do know of any other alternate locations, feel free to put them in the comments. I found it's just easier after the, the, the daylight breaks. I just log out and log back in so I can reset everything. It's not a guarantee. Here's another alternate location where I have found them just to the right of this underground passage, right on top of that building. Now the next one I actually haven't personally seen, uh, but I've seen reports online of other people who've claimed they've seen it here, just ahead in this building right in front of me. I think it's this building. It could be in another nearby area, but this building in front of me just seems to make more sense. So that is how you get all 12 Hunter masks. I appreciate you guys watching this video. If you found it helpful at all, please hit that like button. It would mean a lot to me. And of course, subscribe.